Hello, my name is Jacob, and I am a Norse pagan, and I believe I've met Freya for the first time. This is very curious because I put out a poll on Patreon uh, what people would like me to see to make a video on, um, and one of the top suggestions was the goddesses, because I don't talk about the goddesses often. And the reason I don't is because I don't make videos on things I don't comprehend in some way or things I haven't had an experience with. Um, and quite frankly, I never really had any experiences with the goddesses. I had an experience with Frigg, um, which was very interesting, and I've given an offering to Frigg in a video before. Um, but other than that, I mean, that was the only time I ever truly connected with a goddess. And so it really has never felt appropriate to talk about it. Um, it's not that, you know, I don't approve of the goddesses. I mean, it doesn't help that there's so little information on them. Um, but I believe I just met Freya. Uh, and there for a while, you know, I was on the fence of, is Freya and Freya the same person? But now after meeting Freya, I can definitely tell you they are definitely different people. I was definitely, uh, let me just tell you the story. I'm exhausted. I mean, I'm trying to say all this before, well, it's still fresh, but hopefully you can see how tired I am. I mean, it really drained me. Um, but I met a friend for drink downtown in here in Lexington, um, and we were probably going to hang out for a few hours. Uh, his fiance was going to come. We were going to, you know, eat some food, drink a little bit, have a good time. Um, but within like 15 minutes of me getting there, turns out his fiance's car broke down and he had to go help her. And so he's like, I'm sorry, dude, I just got to go do this. And I said, hey, it's no problem, man. Um, so I ate my food, got the rest to go, had the last of my drink, and I started walking, get back to my car. And uh, keep in mind, Lexington, um, the University of Kentucky is downtown with Lexington. Um, and I, that's where I went to college for four and a half years. And I uh, get in my car, and I look out my window, and there's a girl that I went to college with. Now, before you get any ideas, me and this girl literally just were in classes together. It was one of those where it's like we always seem to be in the same class. So I would say we're friendly, but not enough to really say anything. But it made me start thinking about college. I mean, she was sober at a bar, and I saw her, and I was like, oh. And it started getting my mind thinking about college. Um, and of course, at this point, you know, I had plenty of free time because I thought I'd be out for quite a bit longer. Um, beautiful sunset, um, beautiful evening. The air was cool. It was just gorgeous. And I just kept thinking about college. And so I'm starting to drive back to my place. And I'm starting to drive by the university. And I think, you know what? I haven't walked on this campus really since I graduated two years ago. Um, it's time. So I whipped it around, uh, parked, and I just started walking. Um, before I barely got on campus, I looked to my left, and there is a huge hawk right there in the grass. It's huge. I mean, this thing's probably two feet tall, three feet tall. Never saw, I mean, again, this is downtown in a city of 400,000 people. I've never seen a hawk down here, let alone, you know, downtown on a college campus. Um, and I kind of mesmerized and I stared and looked at it for a while. And I, t I snapped a few photos, which hopefully I'm showing you here now. Um, and before I really get my video recording, I got it a little bit. I got it taking off, and in its grasp is a squirrel dangling from its feet, and it blasted off into the trees in the distance. I'm like, this is very peculiar because I was believing that, you know, Fre uh, Freya was a symbol. It was used with hawks. Hawks is a symbol of Freya um, and her ferocity, that warrior side of her. And so I'm like, well, this is wild. Uh, a sign right off the bat. Um, and then right away I was like, okay. I think I'm here to meet Freya for the first time. And um, so I just kind of walked around. Now, it's funny because, you know, again, I haven't been on here in a while. I mean, I, I still look like a college student, I think. Um, you know, I'm a little older now, but I think I blend in for the most part. But I'm definitely that crazy pagan guy now because I'm just walking around like, why am I here? Freya, why have you summoned me? <laughs> just by myself walking. Um, and there's this beautiful spot uh, right where the Dean's house is. Um, tons of flowers, squirrels. Um, there's a little koi pond there. And for some reason, I kept on going back to that squirrel and the, 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 the grasp of that hawk. And I was like, I'll go to the place where all the squirrels hang out. I mean, tons of beautiful old trees. Uh, there's always squirrels there. So I walk over, and uh, I mean, it's a beautiful area. Tons of flowers. Ton I mean, it just catches the light so beautifully. Um, and then there's that koi pond. Now, it is man-made, but it's beautiful. Very well landscaped. There's water lilies growing in there. They were just about to blossom. Uh, koi fish and honeybees. I've never seen honeybees on the University of Kentucky campus. I've never seen a hawk on the University of Kentucky campus. And I've never seen those water lilies actually coming out. 
So I saw three things in a 20 minute trip that I had never seen in the four and a half years I was there before. Already pretty crazy. And so I sit here by this pond, start contemplating everything, thinking, why am I here? I thought it was, you know, I kept on thinking, I'm here to meet someone. I'm here to meet someone. And I thought if I sat there long enough, someone would show up. Um, and after a while, I got up and uh, started going around the pond, and I found Bench just hidden behind these bushes. It's like, this is where I must meditate. I must connect here. Um, so I sat down, I closed my eyes, and I started breathing deep. And that is when I felt her almost immediately. I mean, as soon as I took that moment to take that breather, it all came rushing in. The honeybees, the hawk, the lilies, uh, the water, the koi fish, the beauty of nature. And even in this man-made place, you know, getting to witness those things, I mean, it's still nature. You know, those water lilies are still nature, even if they were put there by man. Um, and it really all just came flooding in. Um, I just... My heart was racing the whole time. I hadn't felt that in so long. It's been so long since I've had an experience like that where it really, uh, the unknown, and my heart was truly racing. Um, I mean, I saw her face in my mind. I saw her eyes. I saw her hair. She was wearing a headband. Um, and she was just there smiling at me, just, uh, just in this grove, in this pond. And it all made sense. You know, the combination of the warrior aspect of her, but also protector of beauty. I mean, that's what I kept on going in my mind is the protector of beauty. Um, and I don't know, it was just, it was wild. And I feel like I've been under this understanding of the Vanir for a little bit now, understanding them more. And I, I, I might make a full video, but this is definitely the next step, um, is how they protect nature. How nature is its own thing, but they are the protectors of nature. Um, and being a goddess of fertility, of sexuality, of, you know, femininity, of beauty, but also of, you know, war. You know, it's like honeybees are that ultimate symbol. Honey, honeybees make something delicious. Honeybees make honey. They have a queen. Um, but yet they will fight to the death. They will literally sting and kill and kill themselves for their protect their tribe and their colony. That's not the most Freya thing. <laughs> I mean, and hawks are so graceful, so beautiful, and yet they have to kill their predators. Um, and, you know, and all that just came rushing in. She's the lilies. She's the honeybee. She's the hawk. Um, you know, she's the koi fish. She's beauty, but also that, that, that jagged edge of beauty. I don't know. It was just, it was such a truly amazing experience. Um, oh, man, I even draw this. Someone asked me what I saw, and I actually attempted. It was such a quick drawing, but I tried to draw her face there. And, um, I mean, that's kind of what I saw. Um, let's see if I can get it in here. Yeah, there you go. Don't mind the list above it, but I had to draw it real quick. It's not a great drawing, but this is what I saw in my mind. Um, it was such a crazy experience, and I wanted to sit down and at least record it. Um, I didn't have anything really to offer, but I did sit there. I found a flower. I picked up a flower, and I kind of talked to it and studied it and petted the leaves and really just and, and studied it. Um, and I whispered to it, basically gave it my wishes, told Frey it was so nice to meet her. Um, how beautiful she was, how, how wonderful it was, but how, how much I respected her and how it was just great to finally meet her. Um, and after I was done whispering it to this flower, I put it back into the pond. Um, but man, it was definitely, I felt it here, truly. I mean, I feel like every god I feel in a different spot. Um, and I truly felt her in my chest, felt her in my heart. Um, whereas Odin is definitely more of the mind and definitely more of the eyes. And even New York, like New York, I felt like right here. Um, and then like Frere and really just nature in general, nature spirits, I feel in my feet. I feel in the earth pulling me down, connecting me. Um, and Thor, I definitely feel in my, my arms and like, you know, the muscles. Like Thor makes you feel like a power. Um, so every god and goddess is different. And... Um, it is just, I don't even know, oh, I just wanted to share that experience with you. I am so exhausted. It was such an exhausting experience uh, to meet a goddess and uh, meet a goddess for the first time. So I definitely think this is a mark of me starting to explore Freya a little bit more. Um, I didn't mean to really pull any sources out for this. I just wanted to share this experience. Um, I want to hear your Freya experiences. Um, please put them in the comments below. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to learn more about her and I'm going to start diving into the sources and hopefully soon I will make a full research uh, video on her and hopefully I'll be doing an offering to her officially. Um, but yeah, 
Thank you for joining me on this interesting journey. Thank you for listening to my story. Um, man, that was wild. But folk, until next time, till the hall, skull. <laughs>